Hi everybody, this is Jeremy with Southern Roots and Scooter again. What we're going to make today is called a tree jig from Spanish Mackerel. It's basically all you do is you take the little rubber um, bands that you get for your sunglasses. You can cut them into three inch strips. You take the scissors and you cut that right there you want to cut like that so that way when you put it you hook through it it's gonna be like that so what you do is you start off with a six foot piece of fishing line fold it in half that give you a center point and you make your loops just like you would on your Papano jig I got it in three stages I got one two and three loops I wrap mine around six to eight times Once you get it wrapped around, you put it in the center one. The easiest way to do it, once you make that loop right there, bring this in through it. Now to give you your knot like that. So what you want is to do it three times. And I got mine already set up. So now what you do is you take a piece of fishing line about eight inches long and you start off on your first loop right there. Take your fishing line and put it through there. Fold it over. So now you got it like that. So you feed it through. Just like that. You feed that through that way. And then that'll go down there. Leave it hooked up like that. Now you take your hook, put it through your eyes, or through your eye, sorry. Now you got that. You can take that piece of fishing line off, wrap it around, just like that. And then you take your little rubber straw, put it just like that. Alright, so what you want to do is you take that string or that line that you got folded over. You run it all the way through. Kind of pinch this. That helps hold everything in place. When it comes out, make sure you grab both sides of that. Just like that. And then what I'm using for this is just a regular J hook. all it is right there take it through the eye pull it all the way through just like that once you have it off of there all you gotta do is take this got your loop wrap it around the hook and then put the hook through the loop Just like that. And then you take this and you just run it up onto the hook. This is the reason why you cut that little V out when you're angling it. That way it's just like that. So now that I got all three of these cut or put on there, there's one, two, three. 
just like that. So on the top one, put your barrel swivel. Take it, pull it like that. And then on your bottom one, it's where you're gonna put your sinker. So you want a snap swivel. Now you can throw this a couple different ways. Most of the time we put a small weighted sinker on there. You can vertically jig it or you can cast it out and kind of retrieve it so that the sinker weighs down the back a little bit and it's kind of going like that through the water. Or you can throw it out let it sink to the bottom and then retrieve it. Make a little jerky motion to it. A lot of people do it different ways, it just depends on what you want to try. But that's pretty much all you got to do. It takes a barrel swivel, a snap swivel, three hooks, and three three inch pieces of rubber tubing from your glasses, and about six feet of line. And that's your tree swivel or your tree jig for your Spanish mackerel. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification button. Thank you. Just say goodbye, Scooter. Here. Here. Scooter's gonna say goodbye to the camera. You gonna say bye? You gonna say bye? You gonna kiss? All right. Thanks for watching.